Titan is, is the second fastest computer in the world. It gives us just a raw computing power not available anywhere else to allow us to simulate things in resolution and detail not otherwise possible. So we use Titan in combination with other computers at, uh, at scale at different levels that can be used in different modes. So primarily Titan is for discovery, high resolution, smaller computers are used for, for more standard calculations and you want to combine both. It's not all one or the other. Simulation gives you a lot of information, a lot of detail of a, of a reactor and its operation, more than what can actually be measured. And it gives that to you in conditions that you can't actually observe in a reactor or not desirable to observe, such as in an accident condition. We focus on modeling the pressure vessel and everything inside the pressure vessel, the fuel, the structure and components that, that hold up the fuel and the vessel itself. Uh, and uh, those are the primary power producing parts of, of the reactor. Uh, we've been focused on pressurized water reactors. We're expanding to small modular reactors and boiling water reactors. Our goal is to model explicitly every rod in the core and the conditions that those rods occur in. So within all of our tools, it has the resolution to see and affect each fuel rod in, in all of our physics. And that's important because the phenomena that we're interested in improving on occurs at the rod level or even smaller at the pellet level. So being able to resolve that allows us to get to the physics needed to address some of the operation challenges and safety issues in reactors. Through what we're doing to improve operations, it'll maintain the low, low cost of electricity generated from nuclear power. If you can improve the operations of the plant, improve the safety, uh, generate more power uh, for, for uh, using less fuel, extracting more energy from the fuel, less downtime. We can keep nuclear power a, a strong economic choice for, for the ratepayers.